Hello everyone! This time at Cheap Games for your Nintendo Switch, we're gonna take a look at Pocket Mini Golf. This is one of those games you can get for a buck during a sale. Well, like every sale. And it's basically just like it says Mini Golf. You aim, you shoot, and you wanna get the ball in to the hole. Now there are three game modes in this game. The first one is casual mode. You can shoot as much as you want, no lives, just go and gather all those gems. I'm gonna tell you what you use them for in a minute. There is multiplayer and then there is challenge mode. So let's go back to those gems. What are they for? They are for getting you back on track if you lose a level. If you lose a level and don't have gems, you have to start the game over. And you use them mainly in the challenge mode. You can use them in the casual as well, but you don't really have to. I mean, they are more for the challenge mode since the challenge mode is based on you getting as far as possible. So, in challenge mode you only have 3 balls, and if you miss them all, game over. If you don't have gems, that is. Then you can skip that level, and you can try it again when you get it again. The levels will come at a random order, so you don't know really when they come. So where this game really shines is in the multiplayer section. Here you can have 4 players on one switch with each a different controller playing at the same time. And this feature isn't locked only to Joy-Cons, you can use any controller you want. So while I was recording this I was using one wired controller and one wireless controller. And that is awesome if I may say so. There are games where you are strictly only able to use Joy-Cons when doing multiplayer like Dynasty Warriors 8. You can't do it with two regular controls, you have to split a Joy-Con pair. Now when you start your multiplayer you choose the rules of the course and it's how many courses you will do, how many shots you wanna have per map, if you want it to go in a special order for everyone so that you do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or you can make it random so that everyone will get different courses but still play the same courses when all courses are done but they just have different order from you. You can also put in if you want larger golf courses to appear. Those are, well, let's say about 3, three or 4 times as big as the normal one that you normally get. And those are quite fun actually. So I recommend if you do multiplayer, put in the larger golf courses. So when you have put all the rules, just start playing and see who can complete all the courses the fastest. And that's the winner. Simple as that. I must say, if you are a bunch of people, this is a fun game. However, if you play it alone, not so much actually. It gets boring quite fast. This is a game you take out when you have a, like, a small party or you want to play with the kids, a simple game, that kind of things. Like I said in the start, it costs a buck. There are DLC for more courses if you want that. It costs a buck and a half. And if you ask me, it's only worth it if you find this fun to play with your friends. Else I would skip the DLC pack, because you probably won't be playing this so much anyway. Thank you for listening, I think I covered it all here. If you liked it, give it a like, and maybe consider subscribing if you want more of these. Bye!